We are talking Forest Festival Parade and uh, Family and Pet Parade. How are you doing there, PJ? I'm fine, Lancey. How are you? Oh, he's uh-huh. good. He's real good. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So we, <laughs> we've got the uh, Mason County Forest Festival Family and Pet Parade coming up on Saturday just before the Paul Bunyan Parade. And uh, this has been, this is what, your third year of this? Fourth year? Of the pet parade? The pet, year the pet, pet parade? parade's been going on a long time. Okay. But this is the fourth year, or third or fourth year that DART's been sponsored. Sure. It. DART this is, is... DART, the Disaster Animal Rescue Team here. I'm trying to show you. I'm and we sure. ha- this is a great organization, Spencer. I don't know if we've had a chance to talk about this, but this is a group that when wildfires or disasters happen, you know, there's a lot of families here in the county that have... Uh, farms and horses and things like that. And so the question is, when you are leaving your home, you may have your four-legged friend like Sir Lancelot, but what about the horses and how do we make sure that those are safe? And so darts come around to help folks with that. That We started in 2015. There were the Deckerville fires out by Matlock. And um, my girlfriends and I realized quickly that There was nobody to help, so I called up um, one of the fire chiefs that I knew, and I said, do you need help? He goes, we have nothing. We'd love the help. So we got in our um, rigs, and we went up there, and we rescued what, you know, donkeys and horses and whatnot that we could. And then I hunted for three days for a herd of cows that they said they thought they lost. But there were no carcasses, so I figured mm, there's got to be cows somewhere. Gotta be it somewhere. turns out on the third day, I found a neighbor had gone rogue. I don't know if I suggest this, but she herded them to her front lawn. She didn't have mm. any <laughs> pasture. She had a front lawn, and there they all were. Oh, my gosh. Wow. The whole herd. <laughs> Check in on Saturday. Is it 930 on 5th between Railroad and Coda? So it's a little right. bit shorter than the normal uh, yes. Paul Bunyan parade. So we don't make the kids walk a whole parade. No, no, route, no. <laughs> but uh, I see in the pictures on the Forest Festival. Festival website again, MasonCountyForestFestival.org. There's goats and there's uh, chickens yeah. and there's dogs that are dressed up and as pigs. well and pigs. The whole yeah. gambit. Whole gambit. You can bring a mini horse if you want. I wouldn't bring a big horse. You know, that's for the other parade. Save that for the other parade. Yeah. You can check once you fill out an entry form uh, where you can you can find that on the website as well. There's a link to that. Yeah. And then you check uh, check your category. That you're right. gonna do forestry theme, uh, wagon, because sometimes. So my wife Stephanie, right? She was in the pet parade in Thurston County in Olympia many, many years when she was a youth, and oh. she had a little chicken. Who's she the, had a chicken. <laughs> whose name was her name was chicken Nugget. Nancy. The name the a name nugget. of the chicken was Nugget. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so she she either had this thing in like a wagon. Did she feed him barbecue sauce? I don't sauce. know what the heck she was doing. <laughs> she, if she told me this, I still married her. Anyway, so she had chicken nugget in the pet parade. You mean she married you? Well, whichever. Which, depends on the day. And so she's got the wagon. She's pulling the wagon, and the chicken is in there. And so that's part of it, too, right? Yeah, you can oh, do absolutely. All. You can have chicken. Somebody brought a snake one year. But, <laughs> you know, sure you can bring a snake. You can, bring, page on that, you can bring kitty cats. You can bring, it, you know, put them on a leash or something, you know. <laughs> and uh, eat gerbils, you Anything. know, whatever you want to bring. Or just come the family. <laughs> just dress up your family. Goldfish. The categories <laughs> are group. Over here. There's group and or family <laughs> entry. Uh, forestry theme. Yeah. Float or decorated wagon. Best band oh, or yeah. music. Dress up with your pets. Um, costumes, fairy tales, decorated bikes, and other. Your choice. So That's that leaves great. it wide open there. There's and, no cost to this, right? You sign up. No, the there's parade. no cost. And we have the forms there. Okay. You can just show up if you don't if you can't get a hold of a form at nine thirty on Fifth and Railroad. Fifth and between Railroad. Railroad and Coda. Okay, that sounds 5th. good. This yeah. is always a fun parade. And yeah. what's fun I like about this because the parade starts at ten thirty. It does. And, and it doesn't take too long to get through. So the families are able to get back to a viewing point to see yes, the Yes, and they can Bunyan see the parade. whole parade. Yeah, they see the whole thing. And then this year, I'm having people line up a little earlier. Sure. Because last year, Lancey, tell them all about it, buddy. What happened? Last year. 
last year, um, they came at 10. I want you to come at 9.30 because we have to judge you. And there are blue ribbons Yeah, yeah, stake. yeah. You get the blue ribbons. There are blue ribbons. And we have to mention our sponsors please, here. Please, do. There's DART, our disaster animal rescue team of Mason County. Yeah, and by the way, if you ever need us, just call 911 and tell them you need DART. Hmm. And um, we don't do rescues like take take the animals sure, away sure. from people we rescue during a disaster and the people get their animals oh, back yeah, yeah, you know yeah, yeah and then there's department of emergency management because that's what dart is under the umbrella sure so we get our insurance through them and then pj's acting lessons who's this PJ person. PJ, I don't know. She's some weirdo that just kind of <laughs> comes in here every once in a while and brings her dogs and dresses up like oh my sour kangaroos <laughs> and things like that. And then there's the um, the Squaxin Island CDC, which is the Child, Child Development Oh, yeah, Center. yeah, for sure. Great and organization. They've been our sponsors for years. That's awesome. So that's pretty, They were a sponsor before DART took it over. That's cool. So, yeah. So the Mason County Forest Festival Family and Pet Parade gets bigger and bigger every year. And yeah. you have the opportunity now to be a part of this portion of the parade. 930 is the check-in at 5th between <laughs> Railroad and Coda. Then the judging happens, and then the parade goes at 1030. And we're usually set up when we do the parade, you know, we stream it on Facebook. We're usually set up by that time. So folks are able to see that yeah. on the stream as well. It's and then you and we, we run down a tally to you guys yeah, and you we, read it we off do our the best winners to, are. We do our best to announce the winners for back. sure. Yeah. That's fun. So it's a lot of fun. So just come and have a great time. No pressure. Just another fun, free Knock portion of... He says we've never had yeah, a be fight between the animals or anything. No, oh yeah, yeah. Well, out. you know, they're at their best behavior. They're being yeah, judged they are. by the public. They're, yeah, they're you know, and they wave and stuff. I just want to. And by the way, looking. afterwards, I'm gonna run up and well, not run. I'm gonna drive up and jump on my horse and gonna be. Are you doing with that? With the equestrians, oh, yeah. I love it. With my black horse, I don't know. She was doing okay in practice last night. You know, <laughs> what's <laughs> practice? You're just going down the road. Oh, no. are you kidding? Uh, Have yeah. you ever been on a horse? Maybe once oh, when my, I was a okay. young kid. So horses do know. not like noise and people yelling. Oh, and well, that's a parade for you. They're not so fond of it. So we had a right? couple of practices. Oh, yeah. In an arena where we had to. Um, you pump in We had noise? people there banging on. Pots oh, and wow. pants. We're the equestrians of Mason That'll County. be fun to see you there, yeah. PJ. And actually, it was a lot of the equestrians that came and formed DART with me. Oh, wow. Yeah. Well, yeah. they understand the need yeah. for that. That's oh, a yeah. great organization. Oh, yeah. When we had the fires in Northern California, they had a whole county oh, fairgrounds Lord. full of lost sheep and horses oh, yeah. and dogs oh. and cats. Yeah, and for sure. Well, good. what I want to suggest to people is if there is a fire and you think that your livestock might be in danger, take a pen, a, a felt pen, you know, magic marker, yeah, yeah. and mark your phone number on their hooves. Oh, unless that's they're black. Smart. Wow. Unless they're black, don't put halters on them, okay? Get tape or something and put it around the neck, or just mark it right on their body oh, if they're a light-collared man, horse. that's a smart idea. And mark your phone mm. number on there. Never thought about and that. And then um, turn them loose. Yeah. Because they'll... You know, if it's really dangerous, sure, you sure. know, don't just go turning your animals no, loose all no, of a sudden. No. But, you know, no, I mean, because that's the best way to yeah. do it. PJ, good to see you. Yeah, we got to get on to the news you, here. Jeff. We'll see you on Saturday. All right. See you Saturday see you, morning, 930. Always good to see you, Sir Lancelot, right. as well. We'll be <laughs> back with more after this. Good morning. <laughs>